So why should I use estimation? It's a good question. First thing is when you use estimation is because you don't need an exact answer. Now when you don't need an exact answer, that's for example when you go to the store and you need to purchase something, you don't need to know that you have exactly the right amount to purchase that item. You just know that you need to have more than you would to actually purchase it. If you have exact or more, then you're then it's great. You're set. The other thing that's in a lot of ways more useful is this idea of checking your answers. You used to check over your answers and this you should do every chance you get because it, it's a simple way of making it so that you do not make uh, mistakes that, uh, that just basically are things that are easy to check over and see that your answer is not reasonable. So first off we're going to deal with sums. Now sums as a reminder, a sum is any, is any problem that has an addition sign in it. That is a sum. And differences, that's any, any problem with a subtraction sign in there too. So if we look here, this problem obviously pretty easy. 1 plus 1 equals 2. Pretty simple. Now down here, this problem here looks hard, but if we're asked to just estimate the value, then instead it becomes a very, very simple. So what we do is we change everything to whole numbers. In this case here, 10 plus 10 plus 7 plus 2 plus 8. And when we add it all up, 10 plus 10 plus 7 plus 2 plus 8, you're going to end up with 27, 29, 37. Now, this also works with differences in just the exact same format. All you do is you substitute in for the whole numbers, and it works exactly the same way. Now, for products or quotients, a product, as a reminder, is when you have a multiplication sign, and a quotient is when you have a division sign. So those are what those terms mean, and those are important terms to remember because a lot of problems ask for products, quotients, sums, or differences, and you need to know what you're using. So this obviously pretty clear one, 10 times 5. So that's going to be 50. Pretty simple. Now again, if you're asked to estimate again, if you're going to go ahead and do that, then this is going to be 5. This is going to be 10. And when you do that, that's going to be 50. Now here, same sort of thing. All you're going to do is 10, 100 divided by 10. How many times does 10 go into 100? And there it goes in 10 times. Now if we want to look at this, if it's an estimation problem again, or if we're checking our answers, then we just want to see that it's pretty close. So this is going to be 100 divided by 10. And again, that gives us an answer of 10 again. And a lot of times you'll be asked to complete the problems the whole way. Like for example, this you'd be asked to add it all up, or this you'd be asked to multiply it all the way out. And even after you do it, you definitely should check to see that your answer is reasonable. Uh, because a lot of people make problem, have problems with uh, making sure that place value is upheld throughout the problem in the correct way. And so that's kind of the brief summary of how to do estimation.